one of the biggest struggles people have when it comes to prayer, but also just when it comes to, to being themselves, to being uh, comfortable with themselves, and also to spiritual development and, and just a continuous growth in becoming like Jesus is a very simple beginning. And I'd like to share that simple beginning with you today. Um, it's so simple, we usually skip it, we forget it, and we can look at every aspect of our life, and we probably skip it in every aspect of our life, and that is a preparation, a preparation of settling down, of making somewhat of a distance between everything we've lived up to that point in that day or in that relationship and collecting ourselves, recollecting or recollecting ourselves uh, within coming home. Since the fall of Adam and Eve, um, there's been this phenomenon where everything within us, our awareness, our attention, our desires, our imagination, have been fragmented and kind of cast to the winds. And we find ourselves disjointed and fragmented and uh, torn apart sometimes. And then we try to pray or we try to have a friendly or loving conversation with somebody. Or we try to focus on work that we're trying to do. Or we try to be there for our child. And we find it difficult. We find ourselves nervous or excited or upset or unable to, to hear or concentrate. And so I want to share with you a very simple little exercise that um, if you do this, over time you'll discover yourself coming home and finding in that home such beautiful treasures that, um, that you can then give to others um, and so it's it's um a journey toward awareness to make peace with ourselves with god to be people who live intentionally and are, are aware and able to give themselves intentionally to others we first have to be aware aware of what we're thinking, of what we're wanting, of what we're desiring, what our expectations are, what our assumptions are. And this is quite a journey. If we were um, living in a monastery or in a retreat house, continuously on retreat, it would probably in some ways be a little easier um, to focus our options of fragmentation would be kind of closed in and we would have a few of them a few places that we might get lost outside of ourselves but living in the world there are thousands of places to get lost um, starting with our cell phone and social media and notifications and um the demands of our work or the demands of keeping up with the changes in technology that make demands on us in our own jobs. Um, the expectations that are on us as parents, um, as brothers and sisters, or sons and daughters of parents who need help. There's just an endless array of demands that are put on our attention and on us. And so it helps to have a simple exercise where we can come home and begin to live much more intentionally and fully the life that we so desire. So I want to lead you through this exercise. If you'd like to join me, you can close your eyes or focus on an image or a candle. Close the door, turn off your cell phone, close down your computer. And just to begin to become aware of the exterior world around you. 
right where you're sitting. What do you hear? Do you hear the whirring, whir whirling of the computer? Are the refrigerator humming or is there traffic outside? Are children playing? What do you hear? Just allow that sound to just wash over you. Really hear it. Really let it reverberate inside of you. How do you physically respond? to what you're hearing? Is it a grating noise that you just don't like to hear? Is it bothersome? Is it noise that you don't want to have disturbing your peace? Is it a beautiful sound? You relax. How are you physically taking in the sounds that you hear? And I invite you to let the sounds go, to let the noise go. Just take a deep breath and let it out almost like ocean waves on a beach. The tide just goes out, takes all the sounds with it. All the aggravation at the noise. or the worry that might come with whatever you're hearing. Just to let it go. The sounds will still be there, but they don't need to hook your attention, your reaction to them. They don't need to run up against your expectations. That they would be different or that they would not be there. The sounds don't need to have messages coming to you. I should be taking care of them or I should be making sure they're okay. Or why are they having that party and it's so loud, you know? When can we move from this house away from the traffic? All these thoughts come from what we hear all day long. So we're uh, mentally and physically and emotionally responding to our experiences all during the day and are usually totally unaware of our response, our commentary. Can you sense some of that within you? Are you aware of any new response, any new reactions that you hadn't been aware of within yourself before? Now imagine yourself to be a stone statue, heavy, still, unable to move, unable to speak, unable to feel, unable to think. A stone statue, it's just sinking slowly 
over the centuries into the ground and disappearing gradually more and more over the years. And what does that feel like? And as the statue sinks, I invite you to let go of, of your past, of any friendships you have, any worries and conflicts. Let go of your dreams for the future, your ambitions, your plans. Let go of anything around you. Let go of anything outside of this very moment and this very place. Let go of everyone. It's just you as the years go by alone. Mentally scan your body and tell it to relax. Relax your shoulders and your arms and your hands and your legs and your feet. Tell your heart to relax. Relax your stomach, your mind, your eyes. And begin to become aware of a great emptiness within you that's calling out to you. A space within you that right now you're not able to really touch, almost like a language you can't read understand a space that feels hard maybe empty and allow a quiet breeze to blow through that space you see a few leaves blowing around a butterfly or a bird. It's a quiet little breeze blowing through your interior space. Just take a deep breath and settle down into that space. Resolve to stay there a bit, to be there, and to notice how things are different when you're settled into that space than they are when you're running around or when you're checking on things and posting things and analyzing things, rushing to get things done. Because if you spend a little time in that space, if you learn to, to love that place that is your home, you can take that place, you can live out of that space as you're posting and checking and running and resolving and fixing and working. Because really, you're in both places. But the biggest treasure in that space, it's not just you. It's you coming home to a relationship that God has wanted to have with you 
from all eternity. It's a special relationship that he's dreamed of that he's going to have with you, only you. It's different from the relationship you will have with anyone else, only you and only me. And he's waiting for you and for me to come home and to be in that space and to discover the treasure of that relationship. Because that relationship is what will make everything else that we do and live, experience, and give, and suffer meaningful and holy and beautiful. So as often as you can, you might want to return to this space. And I promise you that every time you return, you will discover over time something deeper and you will be given by God something more beautiful.